Hey, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today we are going to get some yard work done in my yard. <laughs> Duh. Um, so we have some leaves to rake up that I didn't get to in the fall. Um, the other thing I want to do is get the grass raked really good to get out the um, winter mold. So that is the, you know, uh, once the snow has melted in your yard, for those of you that get snow, um, it's the parts of the grass that are really matted down and white in appearance um, and sometimes are still pretty moist. So you want to rake that stuff out because what will happen is that will suffocate your grass from coming back um, nice and full and fresh once it starts to break its dormancy. So you want to get that stuff up. You want to get any leaves off the grass because um, leaves will start to decay and then again will suffocate the grass underneath. So you want to make sure you get all of that stuff raked up. And then obviously while you're doing it, make sure any branches and things like that get cleaned up. Um, I may dip into some of my garden beds today as well just to get some of that fall cleanup that I didn't get to uh, completed. And yeah. So we'll kind of just see what I get to and take you guys along for the ride. All right, let's go. leaves and uh, grass raked this past weekend. I'm gonna go out and do a little bit more work in some of the flower beds. Um, I have a project planned. Uh, as some of you might have seen, I had put out a video about starting seeds from scratch and that I'm super excited because I'm going to be doing a vegetable garden this year. Um, and so part of what I'm doing in the backyard uh, is going to help me with next steps on the vegetable garden. So I'll show you guys that as well. All right, let's get out there. Here is <clears throat> all of the wood that I purchased for my vegetable garden beds. So I'll be, um, I'll be eventually cutting all that and putting it together to build the raised beds. All right, so today what I'm working on is I have along the back side of my property, the previous owners had put in um, <clears throat> boards to do like a raised bed along the back side of the property. And I'm going to be extending the borders of those flower beds. So I wanna remove all the wood, but it's, um, I'm going to actually recycle the wood and use it to make a split, a split rail fence for my vegetable garden so um when i was out in the yard raking stuff the other day i just kind of had enough of staring at this wood and wanted to get it ripped up so that i can start working on a fence for the vegetable garden so um as you can see it runs you know the whole length of the backyard and i've already started ripping some of it out so as you can see it used to be along here and so I've been ripping that out so that's what um, that is one of the things I'm going to continue to work on today and then I'm hoping to get this pile of junk cleaned up behind me um, I think I'm going to burn some of it so uh, yeah we'll get started <laughs> 